so today we will be discussing about the controversies over biogenesis and abiogenesis so first we will see what is biogenesis and abiogenesis so biogenesis is origin of living organism from living organism only whereas abiogenesis is the the origin of living organism from a non living material the theory of spontaneous generation held that living creature could arise from non living matter like the fleas can carry the dust particle the first serious attack on the idea of spontaneous generation was made in 1668 by francisco reddy an italian physician and a poet before him von helmont reported that if wheat grains and a piece of cloth and cheese are kept in a pot undisturbed then the mice will appear in few days he concluded that mice can be produced from wheat cheese and a piece of cloth thus he reported he supported the theory of spontaneous generation francisco reddy as we have earlier said the first who seriously took the idea over the spontaneous generation what he did is he performed an experiment where he took two jar he placed fish and meat in one jar and kept it open means uncovered and the other jar was covered with a fine neck he kept it at the both the jar for few days and he observed that the flies get attracted by the smell of meat and fish and the fleas laid down the eggs in the meat and fish jar which was open but the jar which were closed never showed the presence of maggot or fleas the reason behind that was even though the flies get attracted to the covered jar also laid egg on the net but those eggs never fell down in the meat and fish jar hence in covered jar there was no appearance of maggots thus he supported the theory of spontaneous generation by his experiment louis joblot the french man louis joblot also performed a similar experiment to francisco reddy he took two flasks containing hay infusion broth he heated one of them and kept open whereas the another flask was unheated and kept open both the flasks were allowed to stand for some days he observed that the hay infusion broth in open flask show presence of organism but the heated and closed flask never showed the presence of organism thus he showed that once the infusion broth is free from life by heating them then it is incapable of generating microorganisms spontaneously he opposed the theory of spontaneous generation the next scientist who carried out an experiment over the controversy of abiogenesis and biogenesis was john needham he carried out similar experiment to louis joblot where in two flask containing hay infusion broth was taken one flask was heated and closed the other was unheated and kept open John Needham observed the presence of microorganisms or organisms in both heated and unheated flask. This result was due to the insufficient heating which was unable to kill the bacterial spores or the endospores present in the broth. Endospores were not known up to that time. Therefore, he concluded that the organic matter containing a vital force that could give the property of life on non-living matter. Thus, he supported the theory of spontaneous generation. Lazarus Palanzani. He also performed an experiment where he took a flask and in that flask he uh, poured a water and seed the flask was sealed and kept in boiling water for a long time he observed that there was no growth of microorganism in the flask as long as they are kept in boiling water 
Spallanzani also showed that heating flask, if again reopened, an incubator showed the presence of organism. Thus, he concluded that air is necessary for spontaneous generation of life. John Needham took objection, saying that heating for a longer time, the vegetative force of organic matter necessarily f are necessary for the spontaneous generation. The next scientist who performed an experiment over the controversy of spontaneous generation was Fr Franz Schultz. He passed the air through a strong acid, concentrated H2SO4, or through the strong alkali KOH solution and supplied this air to the solution in the flask. He observed that there was no organisms in the flask. He concluded that air contained microorganisms and they do not appear spontaneously. He opposed the theory of spontaneous generation. Sean, he performed a similar experiment like Schulz, but passed air through a red hot tube in the flask containing broth. He also observed that there was there is no spontaneous generation in microbes in the broth after incubation. He opposed the theory of spontaneous generation. Schroeder and Von Dutch were the next scientists who performed the similar experiment like Sean and Schulz, but passed the air through but passed the air through the cotton in the flask containing infusion broth. Animal clues were not developed after the incubation, thus they showed that the air do not have life-giving power, which was supposed to be destroyed by heating or acid treatment. They opposed the theory of spontaneous generation. Louis Pasteur was the another scientist who performed a simple experiment over the controversy of abiogenesis and biogenesis. And he Louis Pasteur, a French organic chemist, performed a similar experiment which disproved the theory of spontaneous generation. He prepared a flask with a long narrow neck with vertical bends which he called it as a swan neck flask or a goose neck flask. He heated the nutrient solution in the flask and supplied unfiltered air uh, and this air was passed in the flask through the goose neck. He observed that there was no spontaneous generation of microorganism after incubation of flask because the dust laden with microorganism was settled in the bent portion of the goose neck flask and the air after which was free of microorganism. He observed that microorganism appear in the flask after breaking the long neck and incubating the flask. Thus, Pasteur carried out a simple experiment using goose neck flask and disproved the theory of spontaneous generation. Thanks for watching the video and do like, share and subscribe to my channel.